evening, everybody. Am I on? Yeah? There yeah. we go. Are we all ready to worship? Yeah. Let's stand on our feet and worship God. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great.
open and see of the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and the shame is undone in your presence
flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Yes, Lord, we pray that tonight we will know that we have truly met with you. Lord, we pray that your spirit would work through us tonight, Lord, and that we would know your presence and that we would experience your glory, Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, you can take a seat. Uh, we're just going to have another little prayer and then move into a time where some scriptures will be read. So at the moment, if you want to do whatever you do when you pray, bow your head, open your eyes or whatever, just will you inviting you to pray just now. Father, we thank you that we can be gathered here tonight to worship you and to praise you for all you've done. We thank you that although we come from all sorts of different churches and all walks of life and backgrounds, we can come here with almost a complete bunch of strangers and be united in our love for you, united for what Christ did for us on the cross. And tonight, Father, we ask that our minds would be open so that we might hear you, hear something, a whisper of you, something you've wanted to say to us. We pray that our hearts would be open and you would just fill us with your joy. And we also pray that as we praise you tonight, you would renew us with the hope and peace that you bring to your followers. Lord, as we start worship, we pray that you would give us a clearer understanding of who you are and what you mean to us. And through that, a clearer understanding of this world and a clearer understanding of ourselves. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And now we're going to have some scriptures. <coughs> Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth worship the lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs know that the lord is god it is he who made us and we are his we are his people the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues throughout all generations. Amen. <coughs> Great, isn't it, to come together on a Saturday night. Does it not feel a little bit weird in some respects? But it actually feels really good and, and really right, you know? Um, Saturday night, you know, just think what's going on out and about in the towns and the city and just imagine what's going on in accident and emergency later this evening, you know? And we should be so thankful that we're here. But, you know, um, we're going to be singing a few more slightly quieter uh, pieces and joining in worship that, just declaring God's greatness and what is done for us. And I'm excited, not just about tonight. I'm excited that this is part of a jigsaw of something bigger. So let's stand and give our praise up to God. You give life. You are love. You bring light to the darkness you give hope you restore every heart that is broken and great are you Lord you love you you are love you bring light to the darkness you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken, and 
great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. It's your breath. Thank you. 
perfect in all of your ways to us. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. Lord, we just thank you that you're a good, good father to, to us, Lord, and I just pray that we can recognize that. And I know, Lord, sometimes our own earthly experience of that might not be great, but Lord, just be a father to us. One 
powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing can stand against. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. You have no rival. You have no equal. Yours is Yours is the glory, yours is the name above all names. What a powerful name it is, what a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is, nothing can stand again. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we just thank you that there is power in your name. And Lord, we just... Uh, we just want to be in the midst of that, Lord. And I just pray that, you know, tonight that you would just touch each one of us and you would just uh, just give us that sense of, of your uh, direction and what it is for you you want for each one of us uh, in our lives, Lord, and just uh, take us forward in that, Lord. Uh, and we just right now just want to declare what we believe. Father everlasting, the all-creating one, God Almighty. Through your Holy Spirit, conceiving Christ the Son, Jesus our Savior. I believe in God our Father, I believe in Christ the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection, that you will rise again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe in God our Father, I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection that we will rise again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe in you.
John's Gospel, chapter 19, verses 28 to 37. When the soldiers crucified Jesus, they took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them, with the undergarment remaining. This garment was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. Let's not tear it, they said to one another. Let's decide by lot who will get it. This happened that the scripture might be fulfilled, which said, They divided my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Dear woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his house. Knowing that all was now completed and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Now, it was the day of preparation, and the next day was to be a special Sabbath. Because the Jews did not want the bodies left on the crosses during the Sabbath, they asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken down. The soldiers therefore came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with Jesus, and then those of the other. But when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. The man who saw it has given testimony, and his testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth, and he testifies so that you also may believe. These things happened so that the scripture would be fulfilled. Not one of his bones will be broken. And as another scripture says, they will look on the one they have pierced. Amen. Thanks be to God for his word to us. Let's still our hearts and come before our Father in prayer. Lord, we thank you for your word to us the promises that we know do not go unmet. We know that your love is unfailing, that we will never be abandoned by you, and that we know that you sent Christ to die for us because it was the only thing you wanted. You wanted us beside you. And Lord, we know that we stumble and that we struggle to meet your expectations of us. But beyond that, we know that you love us and that your forgiveness waits for us through Christ, who acts as our intercessor and brings us closer to you every day that we try. Lord, we thank you that the door is always open to you 
that nothing that we do is ever going to build enough of a barrier to keep us from your love. And we thank you for that, Lord. And like Scott prayed, tonight might be part of a jigsaw, a footnote along the way. We know that you are beside us and we know that there is greatness ahead for your name. We ask that the rest of our praise tonight, Lord, might glorify you and might bring you joy. And we ask this through the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's sing together. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my riches gave.
sometimes it's hard to remember or to, to even mm. comprehend what you gave for us. And sometimes it's hard for us to, to remember that you gave that to us, so we want to give you that back. So just at this time, we just want to pray that we all just bear that in mind. He gave his life for you, for me. Just say that to yourself. He gave his life for me. Amen. Okay, so now we know how Adele feels. <laughs> um, so at this point, um, I thought it would be really good to have a time of corporate prayer. Um, so what my idea is, I've got several things that I feel we should pray for at this time um, as a church, as a unified church. Um, and so what we're going to do is, if we, I was going to say split down the middle, but that would leave enough full short side at that side. So maybe split down. Um, the idea is I've got a couple of things, well, four things to sort of pray for. So either in small groups or in, um, on your own in prayer, um, if this side here could pray for the world. So pray for peace, pray for conflicts, pray for Pray for families that are caught up in conflicts. Um, pray for the medics that are, are there, you know, day after day, you know, and now having probably a never-ending um, sort of line of, of, of people to help. So that's what I would like you, you guys to pray for. Prayer, prayer is a really strong thing, and I feel if we all pray together, that it'll be, you know, it's a good big voice um, from us. This side, if you could maybe pray for... Um, United Kingdom, or pray for United Kingdom in Scotland. Um, at this time, we've got things going on. We've got Brexit going on. Um, we've got governments in, in a bit of a race. So just pray for that. Pray for um, faith within Scotland. Faith in Scotland is quite low at the moment. So let's pray for somehow a revival in Scotland that faith has become part of our, um, our, um, our remit, that, that, that faith that kind of builds up. So just take a few minutes there just now and just um, in your little groups or by yourself, just take a time of prayer.
Be still, for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal, to minister his grace. No work to I want to pray for the towns that we come from, whether it's our growth or if it's anywhere else. We pray for the darkness that lives in these towns. Pray that somehow a light can come into these places and um, it can be brought forth. Um, again, and for our churches, for our different churches within the town, we have so many different churches and different denominations, but we all we all praise one God. So let's, this half, maybe just pray for the different churches and that somehow we can come as a unity to bring that faith um, to the fore within the town. So that's that's your side. And this side, could could you just pray for the people in this room? Just this side, just pray for everybody that's in this room. Pray for the churches they come from. Um, pray for um, that the, we're, the, we're, we're one body and pray for the, the um, read more right right in here. <laughs> um, for the relationships that we have, um, that are relationships within the churches and with, with each church could build up so that, as I say, we can have a unified, um, unified uh, faith with God. So again, just take a couple of minutes to do that.
of Scotland and move within the nations for peace, for an, an up, up, uprising of faith in you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> Just stay seated and have time for reflection. It's always good to have
Let's all stand and sing together again. Yeah. 
to be seamless. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst we're doing this tech team apparently here in Zinnia Monarchs. He especially needs to hear David. <laughs> it's not working. Oh, oh. Okay, we have now transitioned it into what we call the loud section. No, that's not what you called it. What did you call it? Also known as a face mail or Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jesus, you're 
Chapter 24, verses 27 to 31. Do sit if you like. <laughs> For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call and will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. Amen. And these are the days of Elijah Declaring the word of the Lord days of your servant Moses, his righteousness being restored. And those are the days of retrial, of famine and darkness and sword. Still we are the voice in the desert crying, prepare the way of the Lord. Behold, he comes riding on the clouds, Shining like the sun At the trumpet call Lift your voice It's the year of Jubilee The right is I Until salvation comes And these are the days of Ezekiel The dry bones becoming his flesh and these are the days of your servant David rebuilding the temple of praise. And these are the days of the harvest, the fields are as wide in the world. And we are the laborers in your vineyard, declaring the word of the Lord. Behold, he comes, riding on the clouds. Shining like the sun, at the trumpet call, lift your voice. It's a year of jubilee, the right of silence till salvation comes. Behold, he comes, riding on the clouds, shining like the sun. At the trumpet call, lift your voice. It's a year of jubilee. Until salvation comes, behold, he comes, riding on the clouds, shining like the sun, at the trumpet call, lift your voice, it's a year of jubilee, we're out of Zion till salvation comes, we're out of Zion till salvation comes.
Thank you for this night, Lord. We thank you for the worship we've had. And most yes. of all, Lord, we thank you for your spirit that has flowed through us. Lord, we pray that as we leave here, we'll go home telling people about you. Help us not to be worried to tell people about you and help us to stand up for your light in this world, Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> told to turn it down now. <laughs> and sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, O oh Lord my See the 
people said amen, amen. Yes. thanks for joining us all i hope you all have a safe drive home and hopefully we'll be doing this again soon i think what do you all think Much more worthy than I know I cannot imagine Just how glorious you are And I cannot begin to tell How deep a 